Here we have the Phoenix Contact radio line, uh, 900 megahertz radios. Um, we've got, uh, and you see the part numbers here. We got the 900 megahertz base unit, uh, the DA IO6 IO card, and the DI8 input card. Here we have the you know, really the only thing that changes is uh, this output card. And it's hard to point when I'm doing this, but okay, so we're fired up. Um, this is the mobile device, which is going to be the radio. This is the base unit, which is at the truck. That's why this is set at a one. Um, and this one's set at a two. So, and the other ones just have to correspond with each other. So we got four and seven, four and seven. The reason I'm doing this is because. I had a hard time finding good information on this. Um, Phoenix Contact is super good to work with. They really are. So um, what I've got just to do bench testing on this is a couple drill batteries. Um, so what I did is just took my bus blocks and tied in for some power and ground. Uh, so what we've got is the base power goes in. 1.1 base and then the ground goes in 1.2 so over here is where we actually have inputs and outputs so i'm going to rock this up to show you what our inputs are i've got in here this is just a two-way switch so it's actually a rv jack switch um so you see and all this does is reverse polarity so what we had to do was put two inputs you know so we're using the 1.1 and 2.1 that's two channels um and then the grounds you know so on the output side you know these are just correspondent you know i mean the one in the back on the input side goes to the one in the back on the output side so here we have our outputs um so the outputs and you see what I've got here, and this is kind of a safety thing, but so we've got power coming into 6.1, and the 6.1 and 6.3, okay, so are connected, and then when it switches over, the power comes out to 6.2. It's simple. Um, so what I did was take, for a safety, to make sure that I never have power going out the 5.1 and the 6.1 at the same time was run my power from the 6.3 to the 5.1, you know, and that's, you know, so if power's going in here and out here, it's not coming out here. If it's going in here and not out here, it is going in there. So you can only use one or the other. So... What I've got is a series of relays here um, because it's a two-way switch. And what we're doing is reversing the polarity here, you know. So I've got this linear actuator, just 12-volt linear actuator, and I am reversing the polarity on it. So I've got four relays. Just They're just uh, universal relays, nothing special about them. Um, and what I'm doing is running, uh, you know, I've got a power and ground relay for each direction. Um, so that's, I mean, and I'm not going to go into all that. If you get, leave a comment and I can make a video on it, but I'm not going to go into the power and ground relays. You only go in one direction at a time. So, you know. So that's what that is. And when you hit this, you can see, you know, input channel. And then you come over here and you'll see the output channel right up. So that's that. And the transmission signal is always flashing like that. And you've actually got uh, this here tells you how strong your signal is. I don't have the antennas hooked up right now, so... 
that's why the signal is low, but obviously it still works, but it actually gets full green bars with just one antenna in it. But, um, so yeah, over here, I've got the same thing, you know, you just have bus bar terminals and run off that. And I know this wiring kind of looks like a mess right here. Um, but it's because it's going to four relays to, to do this. So you're constantly switching power and ground, but like I said, I'm not going to go into that. If you want me to, I can break that down. Just leave it in the comments or something. But yeah, I just wanted to go over that because I haven't found any, any really good information on actually the wiring configuration of these. I'll probably do another one on the input card and the output card. But if you're just doing something simple and all you're going to use is an I.O. card, then that's that. There is not actually any I.O. outputs for uh, a wire in, wire out on the radios, on the base units themselves. Uh, it does have an RS-232 port on it that you could run in a computer um, and then program it through the computer. Uh, all the Phoenix Contact software is free, so I would actually recommend doing that. But yeah, these things, like I said, these are the 900 megahertz radios. They're not cheap at all. They've got 20 miles of line of sight transmission. Um, so yeah, they, they are the strongest legal radios you can get. Um, and so yeah, like I said, there's I'm just showing you guys this. And if there's anything else you want to know about it, just leave it in the comments and I'll try to go through them. Thanks for watching.